everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 354. I'm Nate Moore, sending this to you from Missouri, where I spoke about pivot tables today. If you're not using pivot tables in your medical practice, you're missing out on looking at a whole bunch of data, and I'd love to help you get started. What we're going to do today is play more with arrays. I've written a formula up here that we're going to start with, and what the formula is going to do is it's going to look out and say, for this range of collections, I want to know the 2009 collections. Just tell me the collections that relate to 2009. The formula is right here, and what it does is it sums an if function. What if does is it looks from A1 to A15, so it comes down here, and it says, hey, if A1 to A15 equals E1, then sum what's in C1 to C15, otherwise 0. So if you just look, forget the sum for a minute and just look at this piece right here. Hopefully you can still see this as I highlight it in the video. What we're really doing is we're looking at an if function that says, if this range is E1, give me the value, the corresponding value. So if I'm looking at C5, go, or excuse me, if I'm looking at A5, give me the value that's in C5. If it's not the same value as what's in E1, which in our case is 2009, just put a zero there. And so what Excel is going to do is it's going to run through A1 to A15. If it's 2009, it's going to line up all these numbers. And then what sum will do when we're done is add it all up. Control Shift Enter, and we've got our formula. You can do a similar thing, and I've, I've listed Excel Video 184 out here with a formula called Sum If. This is what it looks like, and if you look at it, it's not too much different than this. The big difference between the two formulas is when you do this formula, you can just hit Enter. When you do this formula, you'd better hit Control Shift Enter to make it work. Let's write another formula using North instead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this text box over here so you can see the the format and the syntax of what's going on up here while we build a formula here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do equal sum because when we're done we want to total what we get. Then we're going to do our if statement. This time we're going to look in B1 to B15 and we're going to say if that and you know on this one I'm going to hit F4 so that I can copy this when I'm done. If that equals north comma, what do I want to do? I want this value. And again, I'm going to hit F4 to lock that in this time. I didn't do it in this example, but so I can copy it, I will here. Comma, if B1 to B15 is not E6, then I want a 0. And I'm going to put the this right parenthesis is going to end my if function. That one's going to end my sum function. Control, Shift, Enter, and I'm done. Now what I can do is I can change this to East, and that updates. I can change this to 2011, and that updates. One caveat before we're done with this video. Watch what happens if I edit this formula. Take, ah, I'm going to look at it. Yeah, that looks right, and I'm going to hit Enter. Look, what happened to my formula, or what's worse? If I put 2009 here, now all of a sudden I've got the, this is the total of everything in, whoops, this entire column. What's going on? If you don't do control shift enter like that, Excel will just say, hey, it doesn't loop through everything like it should. And look at this one versus that, A2, add up C2, run A3 through the formula, add up C3. It just does A1 and adds up the whole thing. So you got to be very, very careful that if you edit the formula or if you even if you write the formula, control shift enter will give you the right answer. If you don't, you're going to get the wrong answer because it's just going to look at the very first value. If it's 2009, it's going to give you everybody. If you put a 2010 here, it's not going to give you anything. You've got to do control shift enter. That's the message of this and every array video in the Excel video series. There's a bunch more things we can do besides sum if in an array, and I'll show you some of that next time. Thanks for watching.